get a Dodge bedside. You see this thing's kicked in pretty good. I already took the plastic bed cap off. Things had a rough life so far. <laughs> Uh, uh, yeah, we're gonna do a, a best possible repair for this customer. He's got an excavating company and he just wants to have his trucks look presentable and not spend thousands of dollars at a body shop and be without his truck and his equipment for days on end. So stick around and show you kind of step-by-step step what it is that we do and uh, how we attack these much larger repairs. <clears throat> All right, so we got a Cam Auto glue tab glued down there with a generous amount of glue. Just got the panel absolutely super duper hot. Uh, so it's gonna take a little while for this stuff to set up. You can still, it's still all stringy and that actually hurt a little bit, so. Uh, we're gonna relax and let this cool down a little bit and check back in and now we got the bridge cooler hooked up so maybe this makes a little bit more sense to anyone watching uh, and we'll just twist that and this is gonna pull and release some pressure there and uh, the nice thing about using a cooler like this is that I can just put a ton of pressure on that low area and then you know get my hammer from the outside and do a lot of the crown work. And um, the reason you put pressure on the lows is to just give it somewhere to go. Like if you're hitting it, if you're hitting this crown in, it needs it needs a home and you need to show it where home is. <laughs> so that's why we use this thing. All right, so here's where we're at after just putting a little bit of pressure and doing a little bit of relieving to the crown but basically this is just kind of bird's eye view of what I was doing. So, um, yeah. Putting a little bit of pressure upwards and pushing on the crowns inwards back and forth a few times. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep pulling this until probably until this tab breaks because this is a pretty stout area. Um, also, I'm gonna start putting a little bit of upward pressure on the back side of this part with a slide hammer. Uh, try, to, try to make sure this whole thing is level, but you can see it's a lot more than it was before already when like 15 minutes. <laughs> so that's what makes this stuff cool. All right, thanks. All right, just giving you a peek into my setup here. So obviously I got two <clears throat> pieces of wood glued to the side and then I got this jack spreading the metal each direction and while I have some tension on there what I'm gonna do is this is still setting up but once it's nice and hard and ready to pull I'm gonna take my slide hammer and just yank it uh, outward just try to get that area up and clean and um, Trying to do things in the right order and use the least amount of my shoulder <laughs> socket possible. So uh, stay tuned. All right, just touching base, wrapping up. There's just the slightest little low there, but um, yeah, try to pan around and show you. But yeah, so obviously there's a little bit of touch up that'll need applied, but just wanted to give you a view of what it looks like and what can be achieved with this type of repair process. Cool. All right, this is everything all back together. This plastic piece has a little bit of a swell in it. Um, from getting hit so hard. So, uh, the customer didn't want to spend, 
it was 100 or 150 bucks on that piece so it's a work truck so uh, we just put the old one back on and it's gonna finish out its life of abuse <laughs> so uh yeah again thanks for watching